In a grim discovery, the remains of 11 Fulani headsmen from Tode, Fobe, Laduga Grazing Reserve in Kachia local government area of Kaduna State were found in a forest near an area known as Crossing in Kachia local government area. The corpses discarded along Maro Road were identified by relatives and community members as residents of Laduga allegedly arrested by soldiers in the area at different times. Trustee Viz Belo Musa brings us details of this report. Relatives and other members of the community who could not hold back tears took the pens of putting their loved ones in sacks after driving for over 30 minutes to get to the location where the decomposing bodies were allegedly dumped. I had a motorcycle accident when returning from Molu celebration. I was at home when the news came to me. On our way to the hospital, soldiers stopped us, took him and told us they were taking him to Abuja. They accused my son of being a thief. I tried to explain to them that he was not a thief, but they did not listen. Before they left, they collected the 18000 I was holding to pay my son's hospital bills. One week after his arrest, I was informed that his corpse has been found. I want justice for my son and other victims. On Saturday morning, while my brother was on his way to the market, with his friend Ibrahim. Soldiers arrested them and since then we didn't hear from them until their corpses were found. As we were drinking our tea in the morning at the vendor's shop, the soldiers called my relation Nuhu Magaji and took him to the front of their vehicle and asked him what was this. I could not really hear what they were saying. But the next thing I had them say was, enter the car. There was another man, Nura, selling grains. The soldiers pulled him toward their vehicle and shot him. That is how we all ran for safety. According to them, they now live in fear due to incessant arrest of residents by alleged soldiers at La Duga Grazi Reserves of Kachia local government area of Kaduna State. We, the people of Tide community, are living fear as women, children, and other people no longer sleep at home. The soldiers do storm the community at will. They came on Saturday morning around 8 o'clock and also on Tuesday around 2 a.m. Whenever they come, they search houses and take away our money. The people they arrested were Nura Yusuf, Abdul Kadir Idris, Akilo Abdullahi, Ibrahim Abubakar, Magani Ibrahim, Saidu Sali, Abdul Aziz Yusuf, Ibrahim Sani, Musa Ibrahim, and Dan Asabi Agom. So far, seven corpses have been recovered when we add the one that was killed on Sunday. The number of those killed will become eight. They should stop arresting innocent citizens if they suspect that residents of the community are committing crimes. They should liaise with the community leaders for credible information that will lead to the arrest of the men culprits. Corroborating what was said, the village held to the full bell at the Reserve, Muhammad Yusuf, also accused soldiers of arresting and killing innocent Fulani men without investigation. He called on the Nigerian government to investigate the extrajudicial killing of their residents. We are not thieves. We are no abiding citizens. We have been living here and our forefathers live here peacefully with the people. We are appealing to the government to take necessary actions against this injustice. Responding to the allegations, the Deputy Director, Army Public Relations Officer of the One Division Headquarters, Kaduna, Lieutenant Colonel Musa Yahya said, troops acting on credible intelligence stormed Tilden Fulani on 30 December 2023 during which one Ibrahim was arrested as suspect 
for enforcement in terrorist activities and insurgency. According to him, the suspect is currently in their custody and had confessed his involvement in insurgent activities and has further volunteered information that is assisting the army in subsequent operation. The division further said the troops did not molest or kill anyone during its operation. When contacted, the overseeing commissioner, Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs, Kaduna, Samuel Arwan, confirmed the receipt of the complaint from the flying headers.